So on today's podcast, I wanted to talk about a topic that I don't think is talked about enough in business and particularly after the run we've had with COVID and businesses and so many businesses getting themselves into financial trouble and often not through the entire fault of their own. So I just wanted to touch on this topic because yesterday I actually had three chats booked in and all three people had this is very, very similar situation. So what I wanted to talk to you about today was business owners who have gone bankrupt, gone into liquidation or gone into administration. Now, I'm not talking about those types of business owners that you see in a current affair who just blatantly take people's money and don't provide the product and service and live a really lush, lavish, high flying life. That's not who I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the regular mum and dad type business owners who have been trying their best, but have been struggling with COVID, with staffing shortages, with material shortages. And what I find the common thread is, and what I hear from every single person that I talk to is, nobody taught us this stuff. So obviously when I work with people, I am working with them around profit first. I might be working with them on a bookkeeping um, basis in my efficient trading bookkeeping business. I might be working with them around their, it's always around their numbers, always around their financials. And I so often hear that, gosh, why didn't they tell us this? Like, I never learned this when I did my apprenticeship. And what I always say to everybody is firstly, congratulations that you have made the decision that you are going to invest not only your time, but also your money to increase your education around the number side of your business. Now, anybody who has ever had a conversation with me around working with me, I always talk about how education is the primary goal for me. For me, it's really important that I educate my clients so that they have an understanding of what they need to know from a financial perspective to be able to run a really successful business. Now, does this mean that you need to be a specialist in finances? Absolutely not. But what I help and teach my clients do is understand the areas that they need to keep an eye on and what to look out for when things don't quite go to plan and then who to talk to about those issues. Who can help you solve that problem before the problem has got so big and you've got in such a hole that things go wrong. Now, again, what I wanted to mention is that I have so many people um, in the past six months, the number of people that I have spoken to who have been, have, have either gone bankrupt administration liquidation or have been really, really close to has significantly increased. And again, the amount of stress and the mental stress that these people go through to, by the time they reach out to me is huge. And that is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this podcast topic today. I know, I know it's not super, you know, light and, and it's a little bit more in depth, but it's something that I'm seeing so much more of. And it's something that I want to help change rather than sit back and go, oh, I should have talked about that topic. So I'm just going to cover off a few points that I wanted to cover off now. And I will find that I will have follow up topics on this one. And I will continue to talk about business when it doesn't quite go to plan, because we can do so much um, and make things amazing. And we can talk about all the great things that we do in our businesses. But I also really want to talk about the tough times and the hard times and give you some tips and tools to be able to get yourself out of that hole. It's like you're at the for many people that I talk to they're at the bottom of this this huge hole and they can't see any way out and that doesn't feel super fun for me so hopefully this is going to be able to help you out a little bit so as I mentioned I had three people yesterday and everybody who everybody had been bankrupt the first thing I noticed was the shame that they felt around that now when I dug into each and everyone's situation the common thread was that the information, their data, 
wasn't up to date and wasn't easily accessible for them. So keep in mind that there isn't just one person to blame with these three clients that I was talking to yesterday. It's a combination of, and I'll come back to talking about my financial team who, you know, you've heard me talk about this before. So in the three clients I spoke with yesterday, the common thread was that their bookkeeping wasn't up to date. The data in their system wasn't up to date. And then it was also incorrect. They didn't have a great accountant or, and or a great bookkeeper. Um, and again, it's not necessarily the accountant or the bookkeeper's fault. It's not solely the business owner's fault, but it's a combination of all of those, um, as well as the market and so on, piling in on a bunch of things. So for those who have heard me talk about the financial team before, I am adamant that you as the business owner, one of your primary goals is to build your financial team. Now your financial team consists of your accountant, so your tax accountant, your bookkeeper, um, you might have a business coach, you might have a profit first coach like myself, um, you might be, you know, you might have a mortgage broker, you might have a financial planner, anyone who is doing anything around the numbers with you. Now they should all be on the same team and they should all be working together to help you achieve whatever your goals are. Now, for many people at the moment, it is getting out of debt or not getting further into debt, particularly with the ATO. For some, it might be, um, you know, you're starting to save, you've, you've got equipment that you need to buy. Whatever the goal is, your entire financial team should all be talking to each other and communicating to each other what each of us need to do, because we each have different roles in that process, what each of us needs to do to help you achieve your goal. Now, in the instance of the clients that I spoke to yesterday, or the, the prospects I spoke to yesterday, they had an accountant, they had a bookkeeper, um, but they weren't talking to each other, they weren't providing feedback back to the, the business owner, and the business owner wasn't really certain, or the business owners weren't really certain what to ask and how to ask it, they just thought everything was getting done. And in some instances, um, it was getting done incorrectly, which then meant that their bills ATO, super, and so on were astronomical and actually no way possible based on the number of staff they had and the turnover that they had, could that be correct? But because the data, the bookkeeping, sorry, wasn't being done correctly, then that was having this flow on effect and the business owners were just getting more and more overwhelmed until it got to the point where they couldn't do it anymore and they had to clear the slate and declare bankruptcy. Now that's not a situation I wish anybody to be in and that's something that I know that Profit First can absolutely help you with. But one of the other things that I've been hearing lately is how can I do Profit First if I've got all this debt, if I owe the ATO, if I'm behind on my supplier payments, like how the hell am I going to put my profit away first if I can't even pay those bills? That is exactly why you should implement Profit First, because keep in mind, Profit First is not just putting money aside into your profit account and hey, you're profitable. That is one small, por one small portion of the entire Profit First process. Now, again, if you've read the book, whether you've read Mike's original book or you've read My Profit First for Tradies, we step you through the process that we use to implement Profit First in clients' businesses. But that is just the first part of the process. We implement Profit First in the business. And then what Profit First does is it tells us what's working and what's not working in the business. So the next step, which is the step which I see people miss the most because they, they feel like they've, they've implemented it, they've got all the bank accounts and they're putting some allocations into each bank account, but it's not working. And that's because you're missing that second step, which is the customization to profit first. And it's the listening to what it's telling you to then be directed to the part of your business that needs help the most first. And there's a whole range of areas. So if you are one of those people who has thought, I can't do profit first because I can't pay bills, how can I put profit away? Then I would suggest that you reach out to me, book in a call, have a chat, whatever works for you and we can step through exactly where you are now and how profit first is going to help you i work with and i've seen again a gradual increase in the number of clients who are in quite 
dire financial situations over the last six, nine months, I love a good mess. There hasn't been a mess that I haven't been able to fix. One of the things that I love doing in businesses with clients is I'm able to look at your business in a way that you can't because you're too close to it. So what I do, I come in, we have a conversation, we pull it all apart, I figure out what areas we need to fix, and then we start to put it back together in a way that is so much simpler and easier than it was before. And also you're going to have so much clarity around what's working, what's not working, rather than just thinking, I just need to get more sales in the door that I, I'm just going to do that. That's going to solve my problem. Rarely does that solve the problem. And more often than not, it causes more problems than what you thought. Because if you're not profitable and then you get more sales that aren't profitable, you're going to be less profitable even faster. And then that just compounds the problem and it actually gets worse and not better. So what I wanted to do today is, again, do this podcast for a couple of reasons to remind you if you are one of those people out there who has had to go bankrupt or in liquidation or administration that it probably isn't all your fault. It probably is a number of reasons and many well may well could be because you just didn't know what you didn't know. You might have had bad support. Um, you may not have had anybody on your financial team who was helping and guiding you because they have the knowledge to be able to steer you in the right direction. Now, it's not to say that you just put your hands up and go, oh, I didn't know, so I couldn't have done anything. I really encourage you to be like the three people who reached out to me and booked in a chat with me because they know that in their current situation, they don't want to be in the situation they were in previously. Now, a number of the people that I work with who have gone in, um, have gone um, bankrupt often want their, their primary focus, obviously, is they don't want to do that again. And by getting the information and the education, you can certainly steer clear of that situation again. The second thing that I wanted to just remind everybody for those who are like teetering on the brink of things not looking good, that I completely understand that when you're in that situation, things can be so overwhelming. You may not be able to see a way out. And I really, really encourage you to book in a call with me if that is you because even if you can't afford to work with me right now I guarantee you having a chat with me I'm going to be able to give you one or two three or more maybe um, steps that you can do that aren't going to cost you anything that are absolutely going to help you see that light at the end of the tunnel and see that there are solutions but at the moment you don't know what you don't know and then thirdly what I just wanted to say is Profit First isn't just about putting some money in a profit account. That is one small step. There is so much more to Profit First. And by just reading the book, you're not going to get that full understanding and that full information around Profit First and how it can help your business. So if you've implemented Profit First and you're thinking, yeah, it's okay, I've got some money in the bank accounts, but it's not as wonderful as people seem to make out. Um, or you implemented it and then you stopped, I would highly, highly recommend, again, booking in a call with me so we can have a chat about what you need. Now, just for those who aren't aware, I've been a Profit First professional for over five and a half years now. I um, did Profit First in my, businesses, in my business prior to that for almost two years. I wrote Profit First Tradies, so I have a lot of experience working with tradies of all different shapes and sizes. I have seen the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between, and I just want to leave you with the thought that it's never as bad as it seems, but if you don't put your hand up and say, hey, I'm not sure where to next, it's never ever going to change. So please don't ever feel like that you're wasting my time or that this is the worst I have ever seen. I, trust me, I have seen, I, I'm certain the full range of good, bad and terrible. Um, so please, please reach out and book in a chat. Um, I would love nothing more to have a chat with you and help you just be able to take that one or two steps to get you from where you are now on the road to actually this is possible to turn this around so please um, book in a chat if you don't feel like doing that 
send me an email, katie at profitfirstfortradies.com.au. I love receiving emails from people and sometimes it's easier for people to write me an email and let me know what's going on in their business. I can still send you an email back with a few hints and tips there. Or as I said, book in a chat, but please, please, please do not think that just because your business is not going as well as you thought it would be, that you are the only person that this is happening to. You are not, but unless you reach out, I can't help you. And that's what I want to do most. 